Hi, I'm Natalie Targ. I'm a senior at Westford Academy and I'm the stage manager of the Adam ceremony. Hi, my name is Matt Mantenuto. I'm a senior here at Westford Academy and I play Uncle Fester. And how long is the show's run? Um, it runs for two weeks. And what's the starting day and what time can people come out to see the show? Um, it's October 31st, Halloween, and the show starts at 6.30. Can people buy tickets online at the door or both? Both. Both. Okay. And so how many shows do you guys put on as a drama department during a year? So we typically do four seasons, which consists of two shows, one in the Performing Arts Center and then one in our Black Box Theater, which is a student-directed show. Uh, this year we cut it down to three seasons, though, so we'll have six in total. And is this a musical, comedy, drama? Yes, mix? this is a musical comedy. Okay, great. And what made you guys pick Adam's Family? Hmm. I think, I don't know. Um, it was very fitting for like the time that we were actually going to open the show. Uh, we thought it'd be cool to line something up with Halloween. And I think the Adam's Family just, is just like a classic. So It's a fun show. Yeah. What's the best part about it for you? Especially, you know, you have a very specific look, makeup, all that stuff. Um, what do you like about it the best? It's just such a quirky world, and you can really just have fun when you're on stage and like be the biggest person you have ever been because the world just demands that, and it's really fun to just go big. Is it based on the TV show, the movie, uh, the cartoons, or is it a little bit of everything? It's a little bit of everything. Yeah, I'd the say. story is original, so the, the story in the musical is original, but the characters and everything, everything are based off. Everything is based off of what we've seen in media. Okay, and did you guys watch the movies growing up? Did you take inspiration from that, or did you kind of do studying because you hadn't seen it before? I was familiar with it, but I hadn't like watched it like as a kid, but I knew about it. Um, I think some people did. They definitely mm -hmm. like, yeah. did some research. I was younger, and I like watched like some like it wasn't the original one like some in color mm, yeah. tv show and like it was like on that like old like two network tv channel or whatever um but then for this role i watched like specific episodes like they have the old one on hulu so i would watch it and study the characters and stuff like that uh, what's the cast size for this production it seems like a little bit probably of a bigger cast i would imagine yeah it's about 25 to 30 people and what's the most tricky part for you in coordinating everything um, right now, it's a lot of trying to get everything to work together, so we're trying to get like the lights to work, the set manip to happen, as well as incorporating the orchestra and getting down all these cues so the show just has a lot of like continuity. Um, but I think it'll be good. We'll get there. I don't think a lot of people know how student-driven these productions are. Uh, how big of a role do you guys have in terms of production coordination and all that good stuff? Yeah, I think it's a lot bigger than people think. Uh, I know, like, as a stage manager, you're definitely, like, um, you definitely have to take on a lot of leadership, you know. You have to step in, like, run rehearsals, especially with, like, Manip. That's what I was just doing um, before uh, rehearsals started. I was running a Manip rehearsal, and it's just a lot of, like, leadership and expected leadership that's mm -hmm. coming from these hand-picked students. Yeah, especially from the upper grades. It's a lot of, like leadership you have to that was just kind of thrust upon you because you're older and you have to make sure like the freshmen know the expectations backstage and the expectations at rehearsal and it's just kind of your job to, to show everyone what to do are you guys for your veterans of the drama program yes yeah and what's the best part about the program why do you keep coming back um i really like the community personally and i really love doing tech um so i just made a lot of friends from doing that and i enjoy being with everybody mm, this is what i want to do with the rest of my life <laughs> so it's pretty pretty evident why I keep coming back and like like Natalie said I just love the people here and love working with everyone mm -hmm. and what's your favorite show been over the last four years oh mm -hmm. um oh my god I really I didn't do Spring Awakening but I really liked how that came together that was probably my favorite what year was that that was two years ago so 2017 okay spring 2017 I was in Spring Awakening and I loved it just <laughs> as much all right great well thank you guys so much and good luck thank you Keep no secrets. Welcome honesty with me. Okay, you're good. My name is Luke Jorgensen, and I'm the director of the Adams Family Musical at Westbrook Academy. And how many shows have you done here with the kids? I think this is my 12th or 13th show. I do one show a year here. I live in Westbrook, Massachusetts, but I teach at Boston College. I'm the assistant chair of the theater department there. And what makes you come here to work with these kids? It first started uh, that a good friend of mine, Mike Towers, started the program here. And when I moved to town, he asked me to start directing here. And then I realized that I, I absolutely love these kids. This program is on par with many colleges. And over the years, as I've gotten older, of course, I now have my third uh, child who's involved with the program. So my kids themselves 
uh, have gone through this program, and my youngest is in the chorus of The Addams Family. That's great, and I know it's hard to pick a favorite show, but what's been the most fun and rewarding production that you've done in the past 13 years? In the past 13 years, uh, I did a production last year of Peter and the Starcatcher that I love very much here. Of course, I love this. These guys are working so hard, and um, another show called Noises Off uh, pops out in my head as a show that I really enjoyed here. And what's the best part about having the kids take on these really, like, um, uh, these roles of responsibility like it's definitely clear that they have a lot of responsibility and what's that like for you? I think that it's so important. I mean, it's uh, it's sort of a team sport and uh, intellectual pursuit all at the same time and uh, I really feel that the arts are so developmental for these kids and sometimes it can be frustrating because you want to step in and do everything yourself um, and it's really important to let them do it and sometimes you feel like Maybe that's going to show, uh, but what it shows, I think, is the ownership that the, the kids take uh, in the performance. It's, it's such a growing experience for them and for me. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. And uh, what's one thing you would say to bring people out to see this show? Oh, right now, what we need to see is just a, a it's funny, it's called, the original musical was called Adam's Family Values. And I think it's just great. There's a line in the show, doesn't matter if you're right or left wing. Uh, you're just going to have fun with this kooky family of happy people. So it's just a lot of fun. I think there's a lot of joy in it. What is this? I don't know.